grand rising, grand rising, peace, love, harmony, and light. This is Chick Kalanago with another video. I know it's a little bit early, but once again, man, dropping them jewels is always the right time. You feel me? So let me take this time to give thanks to the great spirit, giving thanks to Mother God, my spiritual parents, my guardian angels. I'm just thankful and honored, you know, for this continuation of life. Give thanks to you, the listening audience, and I hope you receive this message with the love that is being given. All right, so with that being said, let's get into this. Sakpase, Mariqua, Alito, Osio, Aloha, Shalom. What the deal is, Wagwan. Let's get into this. All right, um, I know we're approaching the, 20, the so-called 2020 you know, um, calendar year. And um, as we know, it's a constant struggle for a lot of our people, you know, because of the identity crisis. I know once this so-called new year hits, of course, it is not the actual new year. You know, um, the, new year, the new year actually starts on, you know, March 23rd during the spring equinox, you know, where there's actually growth, you know what I mean, um, that new beginning. So I don't really celebrate, you know, their new year per se. So my 2020 won't start until March 21st. Nevertheless, um, I know our people are going to continually, continuously celebrate this, these pagan holidays and these dead month celebrations. And what I'm talking about, I'm talking about so-called Black History Month. All right. <clears throat> now, for me, as far as I'm concerned, we as the aborigines of this land, we need to start, you know, protesting against the, the idea of our people calling themselves or ourselves black. And now we cannot force anybody to do anything, but for those of us who don't identify as being black, we need to make a stand and take a stand. All right, and uh, we need to educate our people as to what exactly it means to be black. All right, now, there are a few, um, you know, articles that's been going around where so-called Caucasian people or the pale man and woman, you know, they are fighting for the right to be identified as black. And the truth of the matter is, I am totally for that. You know, let them be black. Let them take back their blackness because it belongs to them. All right. It didn't belong to us in the first place. You see, our people are just misguided, miseducated. And um, <clears throat> a lot of times when you, 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 you bring the information to them because of cognitive dissidence, you know, they don't seem to get it because of the emotional ties and the struggle of fighting for an identity. And they finally came into something they think that worked for them. But as we could see, being black, it don't work. It hasn't worked. Okay, because our skin is not black, all right? Black is a status that means that you are dead in law. You don't exist, all right? <clears throat> so <clears throat> let's go look at, um, I'm going to share my screen, and let's look at this article here for a second, all right? Let's share my screen. Share, share my screen, and let's get into this. For those of you who want to support the Cash app, the link is in, in, it's in the link below. By all means, feel free to support, okay? Here we go. And this is um, the voice, um, voiceonline.uk. <clears throat> it's a newspaper, online newspaper, okay? And, and this is from the UK. And it says, um, that was um, as of the 18th of November, 2019. So this is recent, right? Anyone should be allowed to identify as black regardless of their skin color, says University Union. Universities and colleges union have insisted that people should be able to choose their own gender and race. All right. So we have here. Um, this is courtesy Rach, Rachel Dunzel, um, photo credit, The Real YouTube. It says a university union has claimed anyone should be 
allowed to identify as black regardless of their skin color or background. The stance was revealed in a report from the Universities and Colleges Union centered around the ongoing debate about whether men should be able to self-identify as women after they faced criticism over the labeling of transgender people. The body which represents 120 academics, 120,000, pardon me, academics said in their statement that they agree with self-identification of gender, but also race. The union said, our rules commit used to ending all forms of discrimination, bigotry, and stereotyping. UCU has a long history of enabling members to self-identify, whether that is being black, disabled, LGBT, plus, or women. They added, UCU also supports a social rather than medical model of gender recognition that will help challenge um, repressive gender stereotypes in the workplace and in society. Many criticized the union's position on race, including union member and Sussex union philosopher, or philosophy rather, Professor Kathleen Stock, who said the union position on race was nonsensical, anti-intellectual propaganda. Stock added, it's fairly simple being a woman, being black, and being disabled are each casual factors in, dis in distinctive patterns of mistreatment and discrimination. Does at UCU think academics should be allowed to use these distinctive names and non-subjective -sub categories for those casual factors or not? Another co commentator said the statement was racist and stupid. Controversy. In the U.S., Rachel Donzel self-identified as a black woman but was exposed as a white woman during a TV interview, sparking a worldwide debate. She quit her post as an official at the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People in 2015 after her parents confirmed she was not black. In the UK, white theater director Anthony Lennon faced criticism for identifying as an African born again and securing public funding intended to help develop the careers of those from on underrepresented communities. All right, now I'm certainly sure a lot of people may have their replies on that. You know, um, fighting against so-called white people or wanting to be black. But here's the thing. They have every single right to identify as black because black, is, black has nothing to do with the complexion of one's skin. Once again, it's, it's, it's impossible. It is scientifically impossible for any man or woman's skin to be black based on complexion. It is impossible, okay? So if your skin is not black, then how are you black? Now, if you were to look at black as a race, that doesn't exist. There's no such thing as a black race. There's no such thing as a black ethnic group. There's no such thing as a black nation or a nationality. So why are our people fighting for something that makes them dead in law? Black is a status. And they have every right to be black, like everybody who feel that they are actually poor or they're dead in law, or they want to be a slave. That's what black means. So I totally accept, you know, the invitation for pale people to call themselves black. They have every right to do that because they are actually the black people. So with that being said, let's go look at the etymology. Now, I've done this before. But I just wanted to drive this home because once again, we know this so-called Black History Month is coming up and our people are again going to be celebrating this dead energy given the so-called powers there be to utilize and harness their energy, all right, to go into the new year, which is actually March 21st, okay, by using their energy. Again, it is all ritualistic. All right. So what is the true meaning of black? 
all right? Black absorption, absolutely dark, absorbing all light, the color of salt or coal. So once again, black is not really a color. Black, things only appear black because it absorbs all the visible light on the light spectrum or on the wavelength of light spectrum. That's the only reason why things appear black because it absorbs all visible light on the wavelength of light spectrum. That's all. So with that being said, all right, what is really black? We have to look at it. Black means colorless. Okay, black means pale. Pale, right here, I just highlighted, highlighted exactly what it means for you. So therefore, they have every single right to identify as black. Now, when you go look at the etymology of black, I also want you to go ahead and click on SWAT and see what exactly SWAT means because those, those are the words that black originated from. And then when you click on SWAT, then you go click on sorted, and then you would see exactly what it means to be black. All right? So keep that in mind. All right? Keep, keep care. I'll also put that in the link below so you can click it yourself. You feel me? And I've said this before, black also means this, all right? When we go look at the Black's Law Dictionary, oh man, here we, what do we have here? Okay. Uh, screen sharing, what's going on? It's like, man, <laughs> in that sub, right? All of a sudden, my, um, my Google just shut off on me. <laughs> wow, okay. Hmm. It says low system resources. Try closing. Okay, this is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. Restore. This is ridiculous. Right? This is ridiculous. Anyway, I think we are still here. I'm assuming that we are still here. Let me make sure that um, the recording is still good to go and screen sharing has stopped, right? So I'm going to share the screen again. All right, go here and this is what I'm sharing. You feel me? Okay, so just to again proceed, this is the um, Black's Law Dictionary. I think that's the second edition and we're going to look at what Salivate matus means. Salivate matus means civilly dead, dead in the view of the law, the condition of one who has lost his civil rights and capacities and is accounted dead in law. So that's what black means. Okay? This is what black means. You have no rights. You are civilly dead. Okay? Keep that in mind. You are civilly dead. So how can you be dead? If black means dead in law, how can you still be black and still fighting for civil rights? You see, it's an oxymoron. It's, it's a contradiction. So black people could never get civil rights. You feel me? So Pete, my people, wake up from this coma, man. Give these people black their blackness. All right? Give it back to them. So I just wanted to, I'm not going to make the video too long, man. I just wanted to share this with you so that this could, you could help promote, you know what I'm saying, the video, share the video, you know, give it to your family. Let them really see what this means, okay? To be black in law, it means you are dead in law. So liberty matus, civilly dead, dead in the view of the law. The condition of one who has lost his civil rights and capacities and is accounted dead in law, all right? And if you really want to look at what black means again, who is really black, here you go. Go back to the etymology of the word black, all right? Here we go. Right here, black means fail. So just to go back to that article of pale people or so-called Caucasians wanting to identify as black, they have every single right to do that because it has nothing to do with the complexion of one's skin, all right? Our people perish for the lack of knowledge, all right?
for the lack of knowledge. Anyone could claim to be black because all it means is you're civilly dead, you're dead in law, and it means pale. All right, it means pale. Okay, so please share the video and um, enlighten, educate your people. All right, we have to get away from this black thing, man. We need to eradicate Black History Month because that has nothing to do with us. As a matter of fact, Black History Month is more of an advantage for pale people than it is for you. Because when you celebrate Black History Month, you are actually celebrating them. And they're using that energy, okay, to move into the new year, all right, using your energy. So you got to keep that in mind, the rituals that's being used to keep us down and to propel the growth or success of other ethnic groups because all people don't know who they are, all right? So enjoy the rest of your day. I'm certainly sure, hopefully, I think it was supposed to be yesterday that YouTube was supposed to take off that uh, restriction on me doing live, but I'm still not able to do it. So hopefully, within some time, uh, within the next 48 to 72 hours, I should be able to go back doing live, all right? I love you guys. Enjoy your day once again. Please support the Cash App. It's in the link below. And let's start protesting against Black History Month, all right? We got we to gotta start putting pressure on BET. We got to start putting pressure on these radio stations, on these um, news platforms. We have to start sending in letters. We have to start calling them. We have to let them know that, listen, that is not us and they need to stop promoting that or we're going to stop supporting them. People, all right, we are responsible for our own destruction. If we don't step up and take action right now to change the paradigm of our way of life or our existence or our livelihood, all right, then if we put it in the hands of anybody else, what do you think is going to happen, okay? So we are definitely self-destructing. So let us give that energy back. We are not black. If you choose to be black, that's on you. I cannot force you to be anything that you want to be or don't want to be. That's your choice. You have a right to self-identify. But I feel it's my obligation to let you know exactly what it means. Okay? So give up the blackness. Step into the light. All right? Be white. And when I say be white, white means purity. It means freedom. It means, you know, you are vibrating in, you know, in a higher frequency, you're have, you have access to your, you know, your crown chakra. You see what I'm saying? And you are literally stepping into a higher realm of, you know, existence, so to speak, or manifestation, all right? Because the crown chakra, the color for the crown chakra is actually, is actually um, um, purple and white, which is this pretty much white and purple is literally, for those of you who didn't know, they are synonymous, all right? So that's exactly what black means, to be dead in law. So if you want to continue to be that, and at the same time fight for civil rights, you're not going to get it because you don't exist, all right? I just want to say thank you again for tuning in, and um, I really appreciate love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and like I said, I'm certainly sure I may or may not do another video later, but soon enough I will be getting the privileges of going back live, okay? I'm working on a lot of things behind the scenes, so stay tuned and once again support the Cash App. Peace and love.